Turkish uh, Kurds, there's Iraqi Kurds, Iranian Kurds, and Syrian Kurds, which is Rojava, where the war is at the peak at the moment in Kobani. And we're here to defend Kobani. Kobani is an example for dem democracy in the Middle East. Kobani has people from all kinds of ethnic and religious groups living in it, in peace, with equal rights, and it's under attack by ISIS forces that are supported by Turkey. Kobani is just uh, one canton uh, in the Rojava region, which is a strip on the northern Syria. Um, and it is a, 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 a town, one of the cantons, in which uh, the, the regional people have set up their own democratic structure. These cantons were set up two to three years ago when the Assad regime's power started to disintegrate because of uh, US intervention uh, in the region. And since then, um, uh, uh, Assad's military pulled his forces from that region, which enabled the regional people to set up this, uh, this structure. Now, this structure was set up uh, without the consent and without the involvement of Western powers. And what they're trying to do now is to dismantle that structure and set up a structure that will serve their own interest and also to use that to intervene in the internal affairs of Syria. Free, free Kobani! Free, free Kobani! Free, free Kobani! Free, free Kobani! The Kurds in the region did not start a rebellion against Assad. We were more interested in forming um, our own democratic uh, um, autonomy in the region. And it was going very well until ISIS attacked us in Kobani and uh, elsewhere in Iraq too. Wake up UK! Wake up UK! Wake up UK! Stop being ISIS! Stop being ISIS! Stop being ISIS! Turkey are funding and supporting ISIS to, 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 to crush the new democracy that's been uh, set up uh, in the Middle East. The Turkish state don't want the Kurds to gain any form of strength or independence in the region. And the fact that Kobani was one of the municipalities that has formed a democratic autonomy and it was stable, Turkey was not happy about it. Turkey is militarily uh, supporting ISIS, sending weapons through to them. They gave 40 tanks, 40 tanks for 40 civilians that were Turkish in um, Kurdistan that they wanted to take back. They rescued 40 people, that's good, but then 40 tanks is going to kill 40,000 Kurds. And I think that's the main reason why Turkey's helping the ISIS. They want to get rid of the Kurds first from the area. They're treating wounded IS members uh, in Turkish hospitals and they're also allowing uh, IS members to move freely uh, within the border, uh, from the borders of Turkey and Syria. Turkish borders are shut down at the moment, but only for Kurds. Whereas ISIS just use the border freely. The Turkish government has killed uh, over 35 uh, young people in Turkey, shot them dead on the street for supporting Kobani and demanding that the Turkish government stop supporting ISIS. These protesters were doing peaceful demonstrations and the Turkish police just pulled out their handguns and just shot them in the head.
with the group associated with the Kurdish community centre. And they just killed us, killed the 10 people, and tried ha handcuffing us and stop and searching us for no sole reason ever. And then they put us against the wall, etc., use violence. You can see my hand if you want to, it's still numb. saying is uh, for Turkey to stop supporting ISIS and to open up a corridor for which the three uh, unconnected cantons could send uh, military equipment uh, uh, among each other. We are here today asking for the international community to support the Kurds to fight against ISIS because once again the Kurds have been isolated and left alone and we have not been getting any international support despite the coalition that has been formed against ISIS to fight against ISIS by, um, led by the US and supported by the UK, they are doing nothing to help the Kurds in the region at the moment. The Turkish state is putting forward the argument that the PKK and ISIS are the same thing as the terrorists. But the PKK and the PYD are fighting against ISIS terror. My point of view is Turkey sees PKK as a more of a threat than ISIS. Another demand that we have is for um, the UK and all the, uh, all the countries of the world to delist PKK as a terrorist organization. Every civilian, every individual has become a fighter against ISIS in the region. The YPG, which is the Kurdish armed movement that has been fighting against ISIS, in fact has been one of the effect most effective um, opponents in the fighters against ISIS. And YPG needs support. The Kurdish movement has been very effective at empowering women. And YPJ, which is the Kurdish women's armed movement, has in fact uh, recruited a lot of fighters, female fighters, ranging from the age of 14 on upwards. And they're very courageous fighters. Um, and the ISIS militants are very scared of them because uh, ISIS believes that if they are killed by a woman, a female fighter, they will not go to heaven. We are Kobani! Kobani is us! We are Kobani! Kobani is us! We oppose the invasion uh, of Iraq and Syria by Western forces or Saudi forces or, or Turkish forces. We don't believe in occupation. We say no to occupation, stop ISIS, support Kobani and the resistance of the people of Kobani. There is ISIS on one side and the West on one side. We say we reject these two and we say we support the people. And what we are saying is um, for the West to supply the Kurds with uh, humanitarian aid and military aid because it's the Kurds, the regional people in that area who know how to fight uh, groups like ISIS and they're doing it now. They're, they're pushing back ISIS but they're, they're not able to do so fully because of, of the limitations of their weaponry and what the Kurds are saying is give us the weapons, give us the humanitarian aid, let us sort it out, you stay out of this. If Kobani falls down to ISIS, terrorist group, then this terror will come to London, will come to New York, will come to Paris, will come to Milan. So we want to stop this and we want the UK public to wake up and see the reality. Wake up UK! 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 W